getting ready for algebra number four, absolute value. The absolute value of a number is how far away it is from zero. So if it's a positive seven or a negative seven, their absolute value is seven because that's how far away they are from zero. The absolute value of a number is how far away it is from zero on a number line. So if we have a negative three and a positive three, here we have the negative three, here we have a positive three, they're both three hops away from zero. So both of their absolute values are a three. That's how many hops they are from zero. We can write the absolute value of negative three is three. That's its absolute value. That's how far away it is from zero. And when you see these bars, it's asking you for the absolute value of negative three. This means it's asking you how many hops away it is from zero. The absolute value of negative 12 is 12. You'll see it inside the bars. It wants the absolute value of negative 12. It's 12 hops away from zero. The absolute value of negative 50 is 50. When you see it inside the bars, it wants you to tell them how many hops away it is from zero. It's 50 hops away from zero. The absolute value of a positive eight, because now we don't have a negative sign in front of it, we know it's positive. The absolute value of a positive eight is eight. And you'll see it inside the bars like this, and it's asking you for how many hops away it is from zero. It's eight hops away. And it doesn't matter if the number is positive or negative. All that matters is how far it is from zero. And zero is its own opposite. The opposite of zero is zero. Isn't that silly? If anyone ever asks you what's the opposite of zero, tell them it's zero. And absolute values are always a positive amount because you're telling how far it is from that zero point. Okay? It's like it's always a positive amount if you lived five miles from school and someone said, how far do you live from school? You wouldn't say negative five. You'd say I live five miles from school. So it's always going to be a positive amount because it's showing the distance from zero and distance is always positive. All right. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.